Occasionally, a game comes out of nowhere that completely takes you by surprise. Hyper Jam is one of those games. It is an indie brawler from the developer Bitdragon with super tight gameplay and a killer soundtrack. Hyper Jam pits you and up to three other players or bots to battle it out to the death in well-designed small arenas. Throughout each round, weapons appear from rocket launchers and bows to swords and warhammers. Each weapon has limited ammo before breaking, but you can throw it if needed. Controls are kept super simple with a short dash to get out of harm's way, a parry to block attacks, a quick light attack and a slower but stronger heavy attack. As the round goes on, eventually a circle begins to shrink the playing area, leading to some exhilarating close finales. All it takes is a few hits before you're out of the round, causing a constant feeling of tension with each attempted attack and miss. And in Bomberman fashion, once players are out of the round, they're still able to call in targeted strikes to catch out unsuspecting players still duking it out. In between rounds, the points are tallied up based on various performance metrics such as damage dealt or players killed. That player with the lowest points gets their first pick a perk, continuing in ascending order of performance. These perks can provide both entertaining and game-changing modifiers. There's perks which increase your base speed, reduce cooldown, add a vampiric health-stealing effect to your attacks, freezing attacks, and even ones which occasionally proc on hit to reverse the player's controls. As the rounds play out, the more perks everyone has, leading to the excitement ramping up as the match goes on. The devs have also done a superb job of balancing these perks to the point that there's often no real obvious choice of which one to go for. Where Hyper Jam really shines through is in that core combat loop, it is just so damn slick and polished. Each weapon has been finely tuned to feel satisfying and entertaining to use. The sword lets you close the distance and cause some devastatingly quick damage, and the hammer sends enemies flying. Grenades from the grenade launcher can be bounced off objects to hit a perfect shot, and rockets can swing in a satisfying arc on the way to a locked on target. There's those games which offer hidden depth via a surprising combination of smart mechanics. We all know the type. Hyper Jam is absolutely one of those. Time your parry and projectiles can be returned to the enemy, whether it's a rocket or an arrow. How about if you parry a rocket back to an enemy who then parries it back to you? Yep, yeah, that is a thing. Or how about if you fire a rocket at an enemy who then fires an arrow at the same time to stop said rocket? Yep, yeah, that totally works too. Hyper Jam is jam-packed full of moments like this. There's unexpected and hilarious events occurring constantly. We had so many laughs playing this online. It is a game that provides endless amounts of entertainment, with matches often offering countless hilarious moments. Where the game falls down just a little is in the amount of content on offer. Whilst the game is reasonably priced at $14.99 on consoles and $12.99 on PC, it's fairly light on the content front to be honest. There's only a handful of arenas, four character models to choose from, and a sprinkling of progression with some unlockable skins and taunts. It'd be nice to see the game launching with a more fleshed out cosmetics approach, alongside support for teams such as 2v2, which is currently absent. There's also currently no ability to add bots to a private online lobby, however local matches are fine. That said, the online matches that we experienced before launch have shown the netcode to hold up surprisingly well. There's even crossplay between PC, PS4 and Xbox One, although we're still not quite certain where the PS4 and Xbox One players can directly play together here. The game's soundtrack is also superb, with a range of awesome synthwave tracks throughout the game's menus and battles. Visually, the game's neon fueled 80s art style suits the tone perfectly too. And performance remains incredibly tight also, locking to 60 FPS even when four players are firing projectiles around the game's arena. Hyper Jam is sure to sit on my console for years to come. It is a superb brawler that is guaranteed to be an absolute blast to pick up and play when you've got a few friends come over. Whilst playing with randoms or bots isn't quite as fun, the game's tight gameplay still keeps things feeling enjoyable for a session here or there. Where Hyper Jam undoubtedly shines, however, is with a group of friends, be it online or offline. The developers have created something special here, and I hope they continue to double down on it and release free content going forward. Hyper Jam offers a potentially Rocket League style arcade experience here, depending on how often the devs keep the game updated and the audience catches on to it. We'll see how things develop over time, however. Right now, Hyper Jam is a fantastic and superb indie title that is well worth checking out.
Be sure to like, share and subscribe for more content like this.